Uh, hello again. It's me, still. Um, continuing on with our rigging stuff, things. Uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, the the option you have of. Well, we've seen the option of um, creating. Oops, we've seen the option to create um, cut up drawings and and rig them up. Uh, plane drawings, but uh, now I'll introduce you to the method of symbols, which um, gives you a little bit more versatility uh, when it comes to drawing substitution and reusing elements and things like that. So uh, I'll start by um, doing a, a rough drawing of an arm, as always. Oh, what the hell, let's make it a leg this time. He's got a bit of a injury there. Um, now I'll just smooth that. To smooth that I can press Alt Shift S and that just remove, just cleans up the uh, the crunchiness a bit. Um, but now with the cutter I can I'm going to cut his uh, foot off. Ow! And I'll press F9. F9 uh, automatically creates a new layer from this object that I'm cut that I've cut. So um, it's create drawing from drawing selection, I'll call it foot. And I'll choose to cut the artwork from the source. So when I cut the foot off and put it on its own layer, it won't still be there on the original drawing. So there we go. So now I'll go back to the original drawing. I'll just hide the foot temporarily. Uh, once again, using the cutter, I'll just um, include the knee and I'll press F9 again, F9 and Shin it's cut the drawing again and just for the sake of um, creating an automatic name actually, hmm, nothing Phi so that's given that uh, a number one on the end of the Shin because I already have a Shin in the library but you'll see that a bit later right, now Using the uh, pivot tool, I'm going to put these um, the pivot points on these things, knee and thigh. So now, if I, oops, I'll parent them, of course. Oh, hang on, I've put the pivots around the wrong way. Uh, foot there, shin there, thigh up there. Yeah, the drawings were in the other order, but that doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to parent the foot to the shin and parent the shin to the thigh as you know how to do now and now if I select the thigh I can move it around I can make him run with a broken split open knee and foot right and of course as you know I now have IK that I can move around and snap him and really hurt him bad yes ow Doot. right um, so that's d using plain drawings. Now what I'd like to do is show you how to um, substitute drawings and to do that we're going to use symbols. Um, you can do it with plain drawings as well because everything in the library um, including this this um, crude shin drawing, uh, it has its own frame so I can choose to turn the frame off just simply by with this slider I can choose what frame of the layer. If, uh, if this layer has um, several drawings in it, say if I have, well let's use the foot as an example, I'll just uh, delete a couple of frames and at the end here, I'll turn on the onion skin, at the end here I'll draw a pointed toe. Boink. Um, now that has appeared in the library uh, as a second drawing on that layer. So whatever layer you've got, it's not actually in the library, it's just this is just a, a thumbnail of of what you've got in your in your scene. So I'll turn off and skin and actually one more drawing here. We'll go. Let's um make his foot smile. Yeah, that's a foot smile. Control this. All right. <clears throat> now, on this, uh, I can go to this drawing and go back to drawing one, and that'll change this. Um, it, it, it'll uh, change that drawing. 
what was number two there is now the first drawing. I can do the same here. But the great thing is that this this element here, because I've done three drawings in it, even though they're not showing up here, um, they still exist in the library, which is awesome. So I can go to frame four and choose the smiley foot, and there's the smiley foot. Even though it was nowhere else to be seen, it's still hidden away. I've done that drawing, and uh, Toon Boom has remembered it. So I can go to frame, uh, what's that, frame seven, and choose the pointed toe. And so we've got drawing substitution without using symbols. Um, but uh, I want to use, I want to introduce you to symbols because they they're um, more comfortable to use and you can share the library with uh, with other projects and with other scenes um, outside of this one uh, whereas the the uh, drawings themselves they're they're not as um, conducive to sharing right I've gone on long enough talk to you later bye